but first thing in the morning, your cortisol levels are highest. And when you eat food and you, and you spike insulin with high cortisol, that's like not the best combination. That's a great combination for fat storage. So, I mean, for many different perspectives, it just makes sense to get that first part of the day fasted, train your body to use fat as a fuel source, and then start to replenish your body later in the day. And it sounds counterintuitive if you're used to having to fuel your body for exercise, right. but it's actually more effective to take in more calories post-workout when you can actually replenish glycogen and you can train. And, and you know, some people talk about this super glycogen compensation effect where when you're training mostly fasted or on low food, you're depleting so much glycogen because you're not using carbs um, that you just ate for fuel. So you actually can actually store more glycogen um, in the muscles as a compensation. Now, if that, like the extent to which that is true, we don't know. Um, but there is something there. I have been training since I was 13, 14 years old at 20. I started like 1920, I started to do fasting and it just made a very strong difference. Mm. Like I enjoy training more, you know, I, I, I started to do a little bit of a recomposition. Um, but there's very cool, you know, benefits to fasting. It actually, um, boost luteinizing hormone, which is a precursor to testosterone. Um, you know, there's some improvement in androgen receptor density, which is like how you, your body soaks up and utilizes your testosterone levels yeah. um, in the muscle tissue. So there's some very cool, profound benefits to fasting. But if we were going to get down to like the number one reason why someone would fast, it is this, okay? Let's say you have John is 200 pounds. 210 pounds and he wants to get down to 190. Okay. So he has to eat at a calorie deficit. He has to eat, you know, 22, 2300 calories a day, ultimately to achieve that goal. And most, a lot of the health benefits um, will tend to come from losing body fat and eating in a calorie deficit um, as opposed to just, you know, fasting itself. But how do we make those 2200 calories as enjoyable as possible? Is it to eat 400 calories first thing in the morning, a snack, a really small lunch, a boom, 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 a tiny dinner. Hell no. You know, for most people, um, it's going to be, we're going to fast till one o'clock. I'm going to eat, you know, a decent lunch. that's going to satisfy me enough to get me to dinner time at six, seven, 8 PM, PM. 